You can do it. Do you want to learn the splits? But you just have no idea what to do. You've never really done anything like splits in your life. You've come to the right place. You can do it, it just takes time and practice. You have to just put in the work. So let's go through a little routine that's gonna help you out. And you can do it at any age. You just gotta be consistent. Practice at least three times a week, three to five times, and then you're gonna see some results. So you always wanna get warm first. So maybe like do three minutes of jump rope, jumping jacks, high knees, just Run around the house. Get warm. Skip. Just something to get your muscles loose. Do the twist. Do the football dance. Whatever you want to do. And we're going to be doing gymnastic splits style. So before we start our splits, just go ahead and sit in a pike. And some of you may even feel it already like this. That's totally fine. Keep your back straight. Let's point our toes for a nice gymnastic style, nice tight legs. But like I said, if you can't straighten your legs, then go easy and eventually you'll get them straighter and straighter. Reach out, reach, reach, reach. Try and keep your back as flat as you can. And just go ahead and hold this for like a good 30 seconds because we got to get these hamstrings, the old hammies um, loosened up. And you can even try to flex your feet if you're ready for that point. And you can pull a few more seconds here. Woo! Good job for wanting to learn splits. I mean, I feel so good after I stretch. It's just like so relaxing. I feel like I went to the massage parlor or something. It's good meditation. Okay, and slowly come out of it. Next step. So you're gonna stand nice and tall. You're gonna step one foot forward. You're gonna slowly bend this front knee. Just go easy. If you can only go this far, that's fine. So what I want you to do is push your hips forward and feel this stretching. Get that hip flexor ready to go. Okay, so you're here. See how I'm inching my toe forward? Inch it, inch it. Maybe get a little bit lower if you can. Hold it, let's just hold it for like 10 seconds. Splits takes patience. If you know how to like knit standing up or I don't know, uh, make some kind of blanket or something, do that. Okay, now you're gonna slowly drop your knee. If that's too hard without your hands, just bend down really slowly and then put it down. Just go easy. And then, when you get down here, you want hips, shoulders, wait, duh, these are not my hips, they're my shoulders. And you're just gonna slowly push those hips forward now down on the ground. Because we gotta get this stretched to be able to do our splits. Then from there, you're going to turn your back toe under, gently lean forward, slowly lift your knee off the ground, now, if you can only get this far, well then you have to start somewhere. Do this and hold it for 10. But what you wanna do is you wanna slowly straighten out those legs and see how my feet are kinda of far from each other. Slowly straighten it out. If you can only get to here, that's fine. And see how my hips and shoulders are straight? Gymnastics, remember, straight across. Be the straight and narrow. Straighten that leg. Try and get your chest to your leg. You're not gonna be able to go this far probably in the beginning, but even this, this is fine. And then from there, you're gonna drop this back knee. Now from here, see my chest is on my leg. Just try and slowly straighten this front leg. If you can only go that far, well, go that far. Hold it for like 10 seconds. Good. And now what you're gonna do, see my back knee is under, I'm not twisted. You wanna have your foot butt, knee, all like in one line. See my foot, it's like it, literally like an inchworm. I hate worms. Ugh. I used to play with them as a kid. Gross. And you wanna keep this top knee up. 
I don't want it twisting. I don't want your foot out here. I want it right in front. Now, if you can only go this far, we'll then go this far. Now, look at the clock. We're gonna hold it for a minute. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna hold this and I'm gonna go all the way down now. See, eventually you will get here. My front knee is up, my back knee is under, because some um, more dancers sometimes will go a little more sideways. So yeah, that gymnastics, it hurts more, I'll be honest. It's just totally straight. So I got these buns in my hair today. I've done this in a long time. So I feel like Minnie Mouse and Princess Leia all combined. What a nice combination. We're almost there and work your way up to a minute, a minute and a half to two minutes doing this. Okay. Yeah, it's going to hurt, but every month you go a little more and a little more. I'm looking at the clock and good. Come out really, really slow, 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 kind of shake your legs out. Now we're gonna do our left side. And one leg's gonna be a lot easier than the other, you're gonna find. That's totally normal. So remember, nice and slow. Don't let this knee go over your foot, by the way. Nice and slow. You can only go here, and this is a good leg exercise also. And now I want you to keep this straight, push this hip forward. I can feel it, ooh, I can really feel it. It's like a rubber band. Good, hold it, hold it, hold it. Straight, back leg straight too, as much as you can. Slowly drop to your knee. And remember, if that's hard for you, use your hand, okay? And now from here, you can do basically the same thing. Wear knee pads if you want, or put a nice um, soft blanket or nice, make sure you're on carpet or something, yoga mats. Feel it here, 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 here. Good, 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 good. And now slowly go down and turn that back toe under and slowly lift that back leg off the ground. Just try and straighten your legs as much as you can. Remember, if you're only here, it's totally fine. And give yourself a good like six months, even longer. Some people are more flexible than others. Slowly get that chest. Really feel it now. And drop that back knee. Straighten this front leg as much as you can. Get that chest down. And it will hurt. Grunt if you have to. Ah! Do whatever you have to do to, you know, let it out. And it's gonna hurt less and less as time goes on. Flex again if you can. And now, walk those hands forward. Do the inchworm with your foot. And I'm gonna go down straight for you so you can see. Keep that front leg up. If you can only go here, that's fine. You might even be here. That's totally cool. Keep it going. And, oh, see, oh, this is my bad leg. Oh no, I need to work on it more. What's happening? So, Back knee under, front knee up, and we're just gonna hold it for this minute. You can do it, you can do it. So I don't know if you noticed, but my students got me this shirt. Look, it's cats doing yoga. There's one doing the splits on here. Where are you? Look at, he's totally in the split. So I wore this for inspiration. I love cats. They are really flexible, it seems like. And they're so like bouncy. And they have all those lives. They really do fall and just get right back up. We're almost there. Back knee under, except I was brushing my teeth this morning and I hate when the toothpaste drops on your new shirt and then it leaves that white stain and you're like, oh. And you try and get it out, but it just doesn't get out. I can't remember what number I started with, but I think that's about a minute. Slowly come out of it oh, and do the little shake. Shake it out, do that. Now for middles, slowly 
step it out wide as far as you can and really really slow try and reach forward if you can only get here well that's fine hold it for a minute you can get here that's great and bend your knees so you don't hurt the, um, hurt your legs your knees you can bend slightly if you want slowly reach down to the ground flatten your hands then try and straighten your legs okay and now from here do the inchworm again inch it really really slow and then if you feel up to it you can drop to your elbows okay and now we're going to do the minute and then eventually you'll get lower and lower now for this you want everything to line up foot butt foot so you don't want to have you don't want to have your hips like this because this is what a lot of the little kids do they're like look i got my splits so you gotta i'm like you gotta push those hips back so push the hips back and remember if you can only go up here maybe your legs are bent like this just hold it it's up to you if you want to put in the time well then hey you can do it hold it hold it hold it hold it ouch this is the hardest one by the way for me huh. and i have a lot of other videos you can even pull those elbows in if you're more advanced and then i like to go all the way down oh yeah oh boy you can really feel that oh my gosh we're almost there the time goes so slow sometimes okay and then you can even do a frog like this to open those hips out just really really easy into it push those hips back you can have someone push gently on your butt down but always just go into it slowly oh and i'm gonna teach you one secret for the really easy way say you want to get a stretch for your splits but you're like i really don't feel like doing that today <laughs> so go to your bed and just try it on your bed time yourself for a minute because the squish kind of makes it like melts you molds you into the bed so it's not as hard um, so follow me But I have to do my splits. So, get out of these covers. I'm gonna put my leg forward. You can even do your little lunge to warm it up. Straight, slowly walk those hands out. Back knee under. Remember, you may only get to here. See, it gives a little, little more room for. Um, I don't know what the word is, comfortableness. It's not as excruciating. Okay, and then we'll do the other leg. And you can wake up and go run around the house and then do it on the bed so that your muscles are warmer. Uh, people, your you know wife or husband might be like, what are you doing? So lunge, hip, shoulders straight, straighten out. But hey, if you wanna do it, what you gotta do, you just gotta hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And yeah, some people are, I have this one girl, she had never done splits, she was all the way down. Some people are just born with that natural genetic split, splitteroo factor. And some people are more stiff. I was stiff, it took me a long time. So everyone's different, you just gotta give it, give it some time. And then my middles here on your elbows so you get the basic idea alrighty you can do it and here is your end of the video trick for your hard work keep it up so I'll go for my split into a straddle handstand into a split Ta -da! thank you guys so much I wish you luck I hope the progress goes well and I have lots of other videos on my channel if you want to check it out
gymnastic stuff, anything you want, just type in Coach Megan and that trick and it should come up. And you can download my app too, if you want. Alrighty, Fit and Fun with Coach Megan on the Apple Store, at the Apple Store, or the, what's that other one? Whatever the other one is, I know I should know, but I can't think of it. The one for Android. Okay. Thanks again. We'll see you around. Noodles.